This is the third and final part of a three-part series on how to configure a sync between two Macs using a ChronoAgent connection, with ChronoSync installed on one Mac and ChronoAgent on the other Mac. This final screencast will deal with creating a synchronizer document that syncs to the ChronoAgent Mac. In the left target pane of the Save Sync document, click Choose to select a folder on the local ChronoSync Mac. To make sure file ownership settings get updated correctly when syncing with a ChronoAgent connection, make sure Local Volumes Admin Access is set in the Connect To pop-up. Now it's time to select the ChronoAgent target in the right target pane. Click the Connect To pop-up and select the connection profile created earlier. Now click the Choose button and select a folder on the ChronoAgent Mac. When the file selector sheet appears, it shows the root level of the selected hard drive. If you're looking for your home folder, it should be located inside the Users folder. At this point, you're ready to synchronize, but we suggest you first run a trial sync to make sure everything is configured properly. ChronoSync will begin analyzing and comparing the two directories, and soon a sheet will appear showing the files to be synced with status arrows. If everything looks good, click Synchronize, and wait for the Synchronize Complete sheet to appear with the results of the sync. The final result is a successful sync of a folder from the ChronoSync Mac to the ChronoAgent Mac using ChronoSync. If you have any questions about this screencast, ChronoSync, or ChronoAgent, visit our website at econtechnologies.com and submit a question through our product support page.